C++ is amazing when it comes to fast code. No other language gives you all the tools necessary to squeeze out every bit of performance. Today we talk about the curiously recurring template pattern, or short CRTP. There are multiple use cases of CRTP, but we will focus on a single one of them. So we will focus on how to use it as an interface class to speed up your code when it comes down to interfaces. But what is meant when we talk about the curiously recurring template pattern? The curiously recurring template pattern looks like this. You always have a base class and the base class has some sort of an implementation, but it also has a template parameter of the derived class. And the derived class afterwards initiates the template class or it derives from the template class with itself as a parameter or as a template parameter. So we see we have a base class. The base class has a template parameter which is called derived or self or something like that. And the derived class is using itself as the template parameter of the base class. So basically what this allows you to do is in the base class itself you already know what type the class will have that will be deriving from you. So it's something like a genie looking into the future. You can always or already do something like a static cast to the derived type. And this is actually what makes this amazingly fast. And this is also why today's example will be a lot faster than your normal interface code. But let's look at the normal implementation first, to which we will later compare the CRTP interface. You might be familiar with interfaces, so we define an interface class, which we call in this case normal interface, which only offers two functions. One function is count and the other function is get value. And now we need to have an implementation for that interface. So we define a derived class which is deriving from the interface class and we implement those two interfaces, namely the count function and the get value function. And the only thing that we are doing is that in the private we, we have a counter and this counter is incremented in the count function by the value that is being passed and we are able to read out the counter at any given moment. This is already the implementation and now we need to call it and the calling code is in run normal so we have a pointer to the interface and what we are doing is that we're using the pointer to the interface to call the function so we call the function count uh, quite often actually and afterwards we output the value to see uh, that our calculation is correct the same thing can be implemented in the crtp way so we also define a CRTP interface, which in this case has a template parameter of derived. And then we define the methods count and get value. But in this case, we don't define them as virtual. So there's no virtual um, specifier here. We only implement them using a static cast to the derived type. So we cast whatever type we have as a derived and then use or call the count function on that. What the compiler will do is that because it already knows at compile time what the derived type will be, all of these calls will fall apart and the compiler will directly call the correct function and uh, the result will be amazingly fast. The implementation or the usage of this interface then looks like this. We implement also the count function and we implement the get value function and internally we have the same counter as with normal interface. The calling function now also needs to have this template parameter um, so it always knows about the correct type to call and other than that it looks exactly the same. We have an object and we call count on that specific object and after we have finished the complete loop, we check the value, whether it's actually what we expect. Now let's have a look at the main function, what we are doing here. 
we are creating two objects, one object of type normal and one object of the CRTP type. And then we're calling the benchmark function. And this one is just executing uh, the functions that I've shown earlier and outputting how long they run. And uh, also at the end, they will output the value so we can, can compare that actually calculation is correct. So let's go to the console and compile that one. We use here the Clang compiler and we use minus 03 as an optimization level because we really focus on speed today. It has compiled and then we need to call the output and actually run this program. Because this is quite some heavy lifting, it will run a few seconds also depending on your machine. Um, and uh, when it finishes, it will output how long each of the two variants actually took. And here is what is really surprising. So the, both of them output the same value. So both of them have done the same calculation. But the duration for the interface class is something like 12 seconds, whereas the CRTP interface is basically immediately there. So here's a very, very huge difference between the two different implementation types, even though on implementation level, they do exactly the same. As with all of the benchmarks, take the result with a grain of salt. It really makes a huge difference on what compiler you're using, what optimization you're using, and also uh, in your case, the surrounding code around your example will also have an impact on the performance. So before you optimize, measure and do a proper benchmark. This is not a proper benchmark. However, CRTP comes not without risk because it is a little bit more complicated on the syntax and on uh, the understanding of the code. You can more easily do mistakes. So here's also a little trick that is kind of neat to avoid some of these mistakes. Uh, so this code has a bug and it will still compile and do weird things during runtime. The main problem here is that you need to use exactly this class here or the derived type as um, template parameter for the base class. If you don't do that and you have a typo in that one, uh, then it will do horrendous things during runtime. It's, it's basically undefined behavior. And here we see that the derived to class has the wrong template parameter and it won't properly work. However, it will still compile. So if we go to the console and we compile this program, it's totally fine in compiling it. And this is an issue. What you can do is that in your base class, in your base class of the CRTP, you define the constructor. And in this case, we just use a simple default constructor because we didn't have any one before. But now this won't compile for any of the derived classes because they cannot access the default constructor. So what we still can do, we can declare the derived class as a friend of our base class. And in this case, only the true derived class is allowed to call the constructor. If we now go to the console and compile it, we see that it doesn't compile. And the reason here is that object two, the derived two class is not able to access the constructor. And because it's not able to do so, the compilation will fail. So this is a great way to uh, prevent some of the mistakes that I have seen quite often in the uh, in code in random code bases. So that's all for today. I hope you have learned something and enjoyed the content. If yes, please hit subscribe. If you want to keep watching, I think this video here might be the right call for you. And as always, uh, check out the code from GitHub, um, turn on your machine, get, uh, get started and uh, enjoy coding, right?